is a man less of a man if he can't change a flat tire? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Is a woman less of a woman if she can't cook a meal from scratch? This is why I say over and over again, you, you never hear somebody refer to a woman as a, a woman of her word. These are not qualities that we espouse that women have a level of integrity and accountability. It, it just, it's amazing to me how nobody is saying, well, it's a, a man doesn't have to, ba, 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 a man doesn't have to do, uh, that's not what defines a man. We, when we are in a situation where so often we're talking about this idea of gender fluidity until the tire needs to be changed. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. We're always talking about double standards in relationships. I want to get your opinion on this video. Is this a fair double standard or not? Is a man less of a man if he can't change a flat tire? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Is a woman less of a woman if she can't cook a meal from scratch? <laughs> How quickly and boldly they answered. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Without any consideration or thought that maybe a guy could be a, a good person, he could be a good man, and just not have that skill set. Here's, right? here's something that I think that's interesting, which is uh, as much as there's this this need to talk about gender, gender fluidity, uh, sex and gender fluidity, and so on and so forth, how quickly these, these traditional male uh, roles are so pervasive. That it just, it's amazing to me how nobody, nobody is saying, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a man doesn't have to, Ba, 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 ba. Man doesn't have to do. Uh, that's not what defines a man. We, when we are in a situation where so often we're we're often talking about this idea of gender fluidity until the tire needs to be changed. Then all of a sudden everything is 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 distinctly different. Um, and the fact that uh, I, one of the things that I will say that I'm that's I, that's really interesting about this this video is that they at least have the empathy. They're just not so oblivious that when the opposite question is asked from the other perspective, they at least have the empathy to, to see that they look like idiots. That the, that the simple, the simplicity of that answer and how they hesitate, <laughs> Because the reason why they're hesitating on the, on the, on the opposite, the second question is because it is a mirror equal equality of the of the same question. If if you expect men to do things, are the are you are, should should men expect you to do things? And this is shows a lack of accountability on a level that you can't. I mean, at least the fact that they paused, you know. Sure, sure. I mean, and maybe it occurs to them like they learned a lesson or something. But it's so strange no. that. <laughs> Because I don't think we'd answer the same thing. We wouldn't go. I don't even think we say that. Like if a woman can't. Guys are with women who can't cook all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. And you just go, ah, well, I don't know. What, what can I. I mean, she or, or she cooks and and it, she's just not good at it. She's just horrible at it. And you're just like, look, let's go out to eat because you are horrible at this. You know. So um, it's just a weird kind of obvious thing. Um, and there's, and this is, this is why I say over and over again, you never had, you, you never hear somebody refer to a woman as a, a woman of her word or, or, uh, uh, this is, these are not qualities that we espouse that women have a level of integrity and accountability and whatever there, we give that space to wiggle, wiggle, we give that wiggle space for your fickleness, for the emotional fickleness. Yeah, Fickleness. which is which is tolerated because women, it's a buyer's market for women. We allow that to happen because we don't hold them to the same standard. Well, here's a, here's a question also. Um, even if it wasn't a buyer's market, do you think that men would hold women to the same response, the, the same level of uh, expectation? I think the level of expectation comes with a level of power. I think the cruelty comes from the ability to have the power and not have empathy because you don't experience the same thing. So, yeah. here, so here's, I wonder here's, about that. That's a very good question. Would men absolutely because absolute power corrupts absolutely. 
Well, right? because I don't, I don't, I mean, I think, I think you're going to get some of that, but I think that um, there is a, a situation where you can have a woman who is gorgeous, she's beautiful, right? And there's other things that you, that you're willing to trade off. I, I, I just think that in the way men think, it's not always an all or nothing. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it's a, it's a, if a woman is gorgeous, right? Mm. They they get away with a lot more. Sure. Um, and I think that that I don't know if that, I I think that's true to, to for a man to a certain extent, but that's only until he and until it gets old, until his his uh, modelness starts to wear off. I mean, we we're looking at situations where people are you know celebrities and so on so i always say if you look at you look at brad pitt and you look at angelina jolie i mean brad pitt at one time was considered one of the hottest dudes in in movies and stuff and every time you see brad pitt he would be carrying the bags he got one kid on his shoulder one kid two on his hand carrying bags you know walking two steps behind her you always would see that where it, it just you know, however hot he was, he was, you know, it was, and then it wore off and it doesn't even matter. I, I, I think there's a situation where men have a, what I call this kind of, um, uh, we have like, like we keep a social bank. If I help you move a couch, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. uh, we are friends forever, my man. You know what I mean? Sure. Like we're, there's no, the, 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 even if I don't, even if we fall out, you help me move the couch. I I don't have that ability to just disregard the fact that you have my back. Um, Why do you think that women don't have that then? Why do I mean that's I just fickleness, right? Like what, I, what would it be? yeah, I just I think we make it. I think it's I think we give them the 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 wiggle room, the space to be fickle, to change their mind, to not to not ha have to be. Uh, and to not have to be, you know, ten toes down where I make a decision and I stick with that decision. I think that we we just expect that of the species. And I think because we expect it of the species and we don't expect anything more, they don't you don't get any more. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right, patreon.com slash manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips, and also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202. I'm trying to think of the world where it's on the other foot, right? And uh, mm. like, how fair are we in that situation? I don't you know, think anything is fair. That's my thing. I think, I mean, I don't see how it could be fair. Um, human nature we, is that things are we not want fair. different things. Yeah, we want different things. I don't want, I, you know, I'm, I've been watching this. I've been watching this podcast off and on. It was funny, and somebody actually one of the fans sent it to me, and it's a bunch of studs. You know what I mean by studs, right? Uh, lesbian studs. Uh, yeah, like male, yeah, short-haired, yeah, masculine. And uh, the yeah. funny thing is that they and they're, they're saying that now. What's interesting is they're saying that uh, 75 to 80 percent of of lesbian couples break up. They uh, and I'll have the highest level of 75 percent have the hi le highest level of uh, domestic abuse. So it's like, OK, so how is it? How is it the patriarch? How is it the patriarchy? We're not involved. This is two women who are who are who are and, and, and they're beating each other up. So then the question is, is it simply ma toxic masculinity or is it just toxic masculinity perpetrated by the masculine end of the, the, the relationship, even when men are not involved? And if that's the case, is it really toxic masculinity or is it just toxicity? You know what I mean? Is it just people who are abusive, people, human beings who are toxic, with people, human, human beings who are traumatize and and perpetuate that trauma onto each other it's a, it's an interesting question you know mm. i mean uh, i guess it does go to absolute power corrupting absolutely you talk about that because yeah. when you, you do think of guys who are good looking i mean we got we know guys who fall under the fuck boy category yeah yeah sure. who are 
cruel to an extent. Yeah. Ghosting women, just not giving a fuck, just stringing women along, lying to women. That exists. That does exist. Sure. sure. But it, it's interesting that the expectation is that women, I guess it's a fight through feminism, right? It's uh, mm. like, hey, we're not going to be limited. You know, we couldn't do this. All we could do was be school teachers and nurses. And now we're able to do other things that we should be able to do, which is great. But then it, it gets into this category, you know, of I want it, I want it all. I want to be a mother, I, but I also want, you know, it's Kevin Samuels, our Lord and Savior, Kevin Samuels, uh, no <laughs> name above that name. Um, he would have these women on all the time. And the yeah. expectation was, I, I want a husband who's going to take care of me. Uh, I want to be able to finish school. I want to run my own business. And I want to be a mother. Mm. Right. And, and Kevin goes, well, how are you going to do all that? Yeah. Because that's three, like, full-time that's jobs. That's three lives. Yeah. That's that's, three, yeah. yeah. You know, like, that's not easy, you know. Like, yeah. I want to run a business. And also, I still want my husband to make more money than I do. Mm -hmm. Right? And then on top of that, that doesn't factor in, like, when are you supposed to see your husband? Yeah. Because if you want him to be making high six figures, that's not an easy thing to do. He's going to be busy. If you're also running your own business, you're going to be busy. If you're trying to take care of your children, you're going to be busy as well. If you're going to school to finish off all that, there's no sense of logic. Yeah. But and that comes from, I find women tend to be very idealistic, mm. for better or for worse. Women have the fantasy about all of it, right? Right, right. So yeah. I remember watching this scene in this movie. The show is the bear or whatever. It doesn't matter what it was. You know, mm. they're talking, the guys, you know, they're, they're a new couple. The wife is pregnant. And she goes, you know, what do you think about that house we saw? He goes, I, th I think it's expensive. And mm -hmm. then she goes, yeah, but it's near a nice school. It's, you know, and it's a beautiful, it's got a, mm. uh, you know, got a nice front yard. And just none of the, just none completely of the, it's bypassing expensive. the logic of it's fucking expensive. Yeah. And what I'm going to have to do to get this house is going to be very difficult. I can't, I'm not in that place now. Yeah. And what I'm going to have to do is more than likely going to tear us apart. Yeah. Because I'm going to have they, to get uh, two, the, two jobs. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to be mm. bitching at me that I don't have time for you. Yeah. Where am I? We're apart. And there's just never any. And that's why it's so difficult because as a man, you have to think for both the people. For both yeah. people involved. You have to make decisions for both people involved while somebody's upset that you're making a decision that they don't get. They don't get to be. You know, you know what's uh, interesting even about this conversation is that um, if you have a woman and she's listening to this conversation, it is we are horrible people. We are horrible people because we think that we can put women in a particular box. And because we put them in a in a box, how dare we? Because all women are not this this the same way, and all women don't act this way, and and so on and so forth. But I'm I mean I'm I'm thinking back, you know, throughout my whole life, and all the different women and all the different nationalities and different women of different cultures that I've dealt with and slept with and had, you know had a, you know social social engagement went on some level or some some more extensively than not i'm not speaking from a place of not having this happen so frequently in fact i would be hard pressed to find somebody who didn't fit into that category i believe that that um women can be accountable and they can be they they they're not operating on their emotion especially when it comes to relationships and so on. I believe that that could happen. I don't think that I've ever had a situation where that actually did happen though. And which, so which which part? I'm sorry, which I, part? I, 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 I don't think I've ever been with a woman who was uh, where she was accountable above and beyond me where I was thinking six steps ahead of her and she was thinking six steps even not only that but when I was thinking six steps ahead um usually was pushed back because somehow I'm just, I'm negative or I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't want to do anything or I don't want to do, I, you don't respect my opinion or I, whatever. Um, I, I don't think I've ever gotten in a situation where somebody didn't think I was the, I mean, I, I think I was the, 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 the wisest man ever. Right. And then somehow I don't know anything. 
somehow now that we're in a relationship, I mean, I, I go through this with my wife. Um, you know, she's in England. It's like you, you, you came, you were a fan of mine. I mean, uh, Harry will tell you. Yeah. I, she approached you. She hit, no, she didn't even approach me. She well, hit she you up. me to get to you. Yeah. Yeah. She hit me up finding to, to get a, to see if we could schedule her was come a fan, to see you. I want to come yeah. see. Da, 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 well, she was da, such whatever. a fan. She knew enough to know that the best way to get a hold of Dante is through me. It's through, through you because I want the most I consistent way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Keep going because. Uh, and now there's a situation up. where when I have a suggestion about my son of a, I think that something's different. I think this is wrong. I don't know. I don't. I don't have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, people people pay me thousands of dollars for advice. Somehow, when it comes to my own situation, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, because it's inconvenient <clears throat> for her. So when it becomes <clears throat> inconvenient, they go, you don't know what you're talking about. And the problem is with guys is they just, they take that and they either they either take the abuse or take the ignorance towards it and just accept it. Or mm -hmm. you, you, you do a wash like, well, we both are, you know, we're both... You know, we have differences of opinions, and we're both and I don't like do either. I'm like, this is what I what, what I and here's the something that I realized at at as you know what age gives you what don't come out the wash comes out the rinse. So I don't even argue. I just state my case. I state what's going to happen, right? And then yeah. I just sit back and wait for the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And then I'm I've already I've already I'm playing chess, not checkers. I'm six steps ahead. So when it does end up the shit show that I know it's going to be, I already have solutions in place to fix, which would be so easy if you just if you if you thought I was important enough to 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 engage with me in the way that you did to have a child. How could you? I mean, how all of a sudden now I don't I, you have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Because what. it's all about the feelings in the moment and yeah. the desire in the moment, which supersedes facts and reality to them. And, and, th and this is exactly what I'm saying. I've never come across a situation where that wasn't the case, where I didn't have to hold. In order to get accountability, I had to be stern and steadfast and hold somebody accountable for what they said or what they did. Yep. You know. And that that's the, the job of, of being a man. You always have to do that. That's not an expectation we have of women. We don't My, we'd just, like it. It would yeah. be nice, but it hasn't oh, happened it would be amazing. Yet. It almost I, never happens. I remember a son, I was my, my son was like rough, real rough at like six months in, and he broke his arm. Right. It was such a tough kid that he broke his arm and he didn't even stop playing. He just kind of dropped the shoulder and he was just doing everything. And I looked and I see like what he did was he fell off the couch, fell off, climbed up on the couch, fell on the couch. His arm went between the cushions and he broke his arm because it uh, um, so we had to go. And I, and I was I was a, such a horrible father because of, you know, I allowed this. He had just happened to be with me when it when it happened. And uh and so I was she was shitting on you for this. She's she's. Oh, I'm she's the like, worst. How could you? I can't you? believe and, this. Right. And it's not like you don't. You're not upset with yourself already. I'm no, sure I, you're I mean upset. this is my child. It's like I don't. You know, the last thing I need is your. You know, is you telling me how horrible I am? I, I don't want my. I, you know, the last thing I want is my son to be in pain. You know, it's just right. ridiculous. And now you're piling up. <laughs> yeah, you're piling on something that it just doesn't even that I already feel bad about. What's interesting is after that, I remember her dropping him and she was crying because she dropped him and he had bumped his head. And it was like, I can't believe it. I, and I, I remember specifically going, listen, he, he's going to, I believe when he broke his arm, I don't think she spoke to me for two weeks. <laughs> hmm. As if I, as if it wasn't difficult enough for me to see him in pain or whatever. And then when she dropped, him on it. I remember she dropped him as a baby, and he, and and he had a little knot on his head, little bruise on his head. It wasn't too bad, but it was like she was in. Oh my god, I'm the worst mother, and then I'm going. You you you're not. You're a great mother. You're a great mom. I mean, you can't. Kids are gonna fall. That things are gonna happen. And this is the speech I'm giving her. And I'm and I don't believe I don't think it was sick. I don't think it was three weeks after she after I was the worst father ever. And it's you take this and this is what it means to be a man. I mean, it's unfortunate, but this is what it means to be a man. 
to buck the hell up and just understand that we're different. And then and and and, and, and what's crazy is that we're different. It's never going to be even, equal. We can't even say that we're different. If you say no. now, if you say you're different, it's like you're. Oh, well, 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 am I human being too? It's just, it's the absurd. And so I think we have to get to the point to where we we, we stop. There's empathy and then there's ridiculousness. There's a, a degree of ridiculous. And I know you're going through that stuff. You, I mean, we'll talk about that on the Patreon. But mm -hmm. um, you got problems, hit me. DanteNamor.com, click on consult. Sign up for the um, the Patreon. is www.patreon.com. slash manschool202. Um, advice from Harry at gmail.com. Yo, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual Revolution being podcast. And um, man, I love y'all, man. Thank you. See y'all on the other side. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.